greetings to you, friend. I understand I have you to thank for my rescue from the forest. I don't want your efforts to go unrewarded. Here is a gem I traded for when I was amongst the outsiders. I thought to make a necklace out of it for my bride, but I want you to have it. I know it is of worth. You wish me to keep it? Then you are truly generous. Thank you again. And now, I am afraid I must rest. The Keeper says I am not yet fully recovered, after all. I wish you well, my friend. You have returned. Is there... any chance you have news of Denala? You have news? Have you found her? Are, are you certain? That is her scarf. Where did you find her? What's become of her? The Keeper told me the truth? Are you certain? Oh, I see. At least she is at peace. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral. Fare you well. A terrible notion. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. Sten is not a name, is it? Do you always begin conversations this way? It's your rank, is it? Braska! Indeed. I have met a few Kunari in Antiva, you know. Not much for conversation, but some of them are quite easy on the eyes. Those are not Kunari. No? They are what? Then very large dwarves with in it for us. Oh. 
All right. Yes? Huh? On my way. Right ahead. Speak. Yes. Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. The Mage's Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Why, oh, bless my soul. What's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? A mage? Me? That'll be the day, I tell you. That will be the day. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? Good day.
Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course, what would you like? Yes. Sitting, as you observed. No, it's a choice, not a necessity. I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. To answer a question, were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. Yes. Never. I cannot go home. It doesn't matter now. Can we move on? We keep the Darkspawn waiting. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. As you wish. You've seen and touched and dressed as ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. I know, it seems almost irreverent to use her as a curative, and it is also a tiny bit morbid. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Why shouldn't I? I don't understand. Oh, I see what you're asking. If the Maker has not truly abandoned us, why would Andraste need to intercede with the Maker on our behalf? I have never thought of this. I... I revere her because she's the Maker's divine bride. I do not have any other explanation. Why? If the Maker has not abandoned us, does that make it necessarily true that Andraste was nothing? I know it sounds irrational, but faith is irrational. If we knew the truth, it would be fact and irrefutable. But we do not, so all we can do is believe. What do you need? Ask away. Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. You could call it that, sure. The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. Perhaps, but there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Thankfully, no. You only start receiving Lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. 
The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. Leave me alone. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Kill some Darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! Hmm... I don't know. I am feeling a little peckish, though. Parshera, here. Munch on these if you like. Oh, cookies! I am content to part with them if it saves us from this fool. Yummy! You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, yes? We can go across now, if you really want. Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations, not the horde that fell upon us. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Not just mages, but my Templars also. I had no choice. The abominations must be contained at all costs. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. 
It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. And what was I to do? Leave the door open as the abominations poured out? He... he's right. All the circles have doors like these, to prevent abominations from getting loose. Denerim must have received our message. It cannot be much longer. If, by some miracle, you destroy the abominations, yes. The Templars will join your army. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. They'll rip you apart and eat you from the inside out. do that for you. Finished. You. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. Then you do serve the Templars, as I feared. Do they have the right of annulment? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. 
I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Yes, even if we cannot eliminate all the demons and abominations, together we could lead the survivors out. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Yes. Eva has a long tradition of royal bastards. You don't say. Oh, yes. They've led wars to claim the throne. It's good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tern a traitor. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Good luck, and may the ma I don't suppose this is what you expected the circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. Their swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. 
Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Braska. Indeed. What now? What's next? Be quick. Sorry. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. your order.
As you say. I shall do so. Very well. Make us breath! Owain's room is near here. I hope he's all right. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I return to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the Mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. 
Aldred told us that the Circa would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. No! No, please! Huh. Ah! Which one first? What is it? What? Now. Just like you wanted.
now. happening. This must have belonged to someone important. I finished. This, this is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Back when Arl Eamon told me I was being sent to the Chantry, I took my mother's amulet, the only thing I ever had of hers, and shattered it against the wall. I was so angry. So, he must have found it, and... Had it repaired, why would he do that? Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this. The next time I see him, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Anyhow. Let's go, and thanks again.
never expect creatures like those, really. Tricked into a partial ritual. Curiosity unchecked became greed for this un unfortunate apprentice.
now? What? Ready. Right. What now? for your assistance. And I'm off. It is time for supper. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. 
But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. Our thoughts and spirits are melded. If one perishes, so does the other. Though much of my strength is spent maintaining this link, I am his wife and his children. He will defend me to the death if need be. I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door! They're going to murder the children! They will not get past me! Huh. No one never expects creatures like those, really. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Do you hear something, love? It is the children. Don't. I will. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dis. I have given him what he always wanted. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desire. No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. You do not see what I see of him. You do not know. We are partners. I give him what no one else can. What happiness? He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us up. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. Then you leave me no choice. Help! They... Huh. No one never expects creatures like those, really.
open it. Now let's this one first. Resting. Poor lad. You were so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. I'll not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist! You must resist! Else we are all lost! Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on. 